Hello friends, how are you guys? I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today. I wanted to start off the video by showing you my outfit in case you guys are ever interested. I know I get so many questions whenever I wear like certain crew necks. So I got this crew neck a few months ago. It is always out of stock, you guys. Literally was never able to get my hands on it and then it finally came back in stock. Um, it's from a Korean brand, I believe, and they actually have a store in Irvine at the Irvine Spectrum if you guys are ever interested. I think their company is called June or something, Junie Gray. I will link it down below for you guys. I really do hope that it's in stock. And the cutest thing, oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you. Um, I got this and then I also got a little set in case one day I would ever have a baby girl. And if I end up never having a daughter of my own, it's okay. I can end up giving it to like my friend's daughter or something. But um, so the cool thing about the brand is they do like a mother and me kind of duo. So whatever they have for like the mom in adult size, they also have um, so you can match with your daughter. So if you guys like have a daughter or I believe they even have like boy stuff. So if you have a daughter or a son, you can match with them. But I got this crew neck for myself. Obviously, I'm wearing it right now and it says girl power on it. It's so cute and the quality is amazing. I also got um, a little girl one for my future daughter in case one day I do have a daughter I can match with her. It's so cute. And I thought it would be fun to pair it with some lavender shorts. These I got from Target. Um, they were only a few bucks. They were actually a part of a set um, and it's so comfortable. So I'm just doing a little fun spring summer outfit and then I'm just wearing my Louis Vuitton strap on pouch bag which I always highly recommend to you guys if you're looking to invest and I'm very happy to announce right now that this purse in black and cream is back in stock. It was out of stock for three months. It's officially on the Louis Vuitton website. I think it's a great price. It is higher end, so like, don't be shocked when you go on the website. Um, Cause you guys obviously know like Louis Vuitton is a designer brand, but if you're looking to invest in a designer bag, I have always recommended this for the last like two or three months. If you're somebody who carries more stuff, I would recommend the Pochette Matisse. I will link that down below, but if you're somebody like me who just carries a wallet and their phone and maybe a lip product or a hair tie or just like their keys, phone and wallet. This is so amazing. It's the strap on pouch and you can wear it crossbody like I am today. Or this strap becomes a smaller strap so you can wear it over the shoulder. And then it also comes with a gold chain so you can dress it up or down. You can use the gold chain as like an over the shoulder thing. And it comes in black and it comes in cream. And like I said, they were out of stock for a while. So if you guys are interested, they are back in stock. Bye, babe. Why? He's very nervous. Why are you nervous? Because the Celtics are playing today. You guys, it is uh, basketball season. He's been on a edge. He literally almost cried the other day because they lost. <laughs> so they're playing today at one or 5.30, so I'm leaving. He's very nervous. Oh, um, he also made them a Celtics sh like shine altar thingy. Shrine. shrine. What am I saying? Shine. Um, this is his little Celtics uh, shrine that he's been praying to. So they win every game. Um, I have no words. I don't even know. And then this is his outfit that he puts on before every single game. It's his hoodie and his hat. I'm not even kidding. He's taking it very seriously. Yeah. When it's not basketball season, then it's football season. Like, there's never really a break. Yeah, there is. I mean... Kind of, but then you're still watching sports. <laughs> well, I mean, if the Celtics lose, then, then if they lose this series, then I'm just like, oh, that's it. And then football doesn't start until September. Oh, my goodness. But I'm hoping they win, so... Oh, man's over it. I'm nervous. Well, good luck, baby. I hope you win today. I think that I want to go get... um a matcha. <laughs> I haven't bought the matcha yet, you guys. A lot of you guys in the last video recommended getting um, like a matcha brand. I think um, uh, Emma, em, I can never say her name, Emma, Emma Ch Chamberlain. Uh, my tongue, it just, I don't know why I say her name so um, awkwardly, but 
she has a matcha powder, I think. I want to buy it and support a fellow YouTuber. Even though she has no idea who I am, but I love her. <laughs> she's so fun. I'm so happy for her. She's she's gotten so successful in the last year and I love that she's like um kind of like alter her interests towards like high fashion and I just love that no matter what she does, she's authentically herself and that's what I truly respect. Um oh my mother-in-law is on Instagram. I had no idea. Instagram just like recommended her and I was like, wait, I know her. Um, but I think I'm gonna do that. I have to stop by the post office. I have a package that came in the mail and um, this week is actually really crazy, you guys. So I have a lot of things to do this week. I have a partnership that I need to hand in to the brand and then next week I'm going to LA for work, which is so crazy to even say to you guys because the last time I ever had this life was in 2017 when I was doing makeup and in the beauty industry and I was like traveling all the time. Um, I haven't been back to LA in like two or three years. It's been a really long time, but I'm going to LA next week because I'm working on a really fun project um, and I'm actually really, really, really honored that they thought of me. It's for AAPI month. Um, so they they chose me as their influencer and I'm gonna do like a panel or something but I just got the email today from my manager so I don't know all the details yet I'm hopping on a I think I have a meeting with them on Thursday but next week if all goes well I'm going to LA for a few days um, and I'm really really excited so I'll tell you guys a little bit about that when it does happen I think I'm gonna vlog the whole thing I think it'd be really cool to show you like a day in my life when I do actually like do work stuff other than work stuff at home because the at home stuff I feel like it's kind of boring um, but when I actually really have to go to like meetings and go to things like that, I think that'll be more fun to watch. And they're allowing me to bring a plus one. And I was going to bring Carlos, but obviously you guys know we have four dogs. So we kind of have to like juggle um, what we want to do. So Carlos is going to stay home with the dogs. He also made prior commitments with his mom. So that was um, another reason why he couldn't go. And because his Celtics are playing. Uh, during the week so I'm like you know what I'm not gonna put you uh, in a situation where you have to change all of your plans around especially because he did make prior commitments with his mother um, and also his family's coming over too so honestly it was just such a crazy time I'm really sad that I won't get to spend time with my in-laws but I am bringing Michelle as my plus one you guys know Michelle is always my plus one whenever I used to travel with brands anywhere I would always ask her to be my plus one so Michelle's gonna be my plus one for this trip and I thought it'd be fun to make it like a little girls trip in LA we both hate driving to LA but once we're there, we have a really good time and we have like a few plans we want to do once we're in LA up our sleeve that we're not going to share with you in this video. But I think Michelle and I will have a really good time. Um, I believe that she's going to vlog and I'm going to vlog, so it's going to be a lot of vlogging, which I'm excited about. I honestly love vlogging, to be honest, because you guys love watching it. I love, love having vlogs online. Um, I watch my old ones all the time and it's been so great to like watch the ones where I just moved into the house. Like it's literally documenting my life and having it on the internet um, for me to watch later on. Like in five years from now, you know, when we're in such a different place, I can look back and be like, oh my God, that was like when we moved into our first house. And I don't know, I'm a nostalgic person. We are at Starbucks. Hello, Starbies. I actually get my nails done right next door, um, two doors down at Esta Nails. So we are going to go through the drive through However, if you guys are looking for a good place to study or get work done, the Starbucks has the prettiest interior ever. Um, so let me get into the drive through here. Yeah, literally inside, it's like all oak and it's so pretty. Um, hopefully there's no line. Oh, that's not bad. I always want a matcha, but then I get here and I'm like, should I get a fun drink because it's like, it's almost summer, you know? Hello. Hello, can I please have a minute? Yeah, go ahead, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, what should I get, what should I get? Can I uh, please have a grande strawberry acai lemonade refresher? Okay. Can I have extra ice in that, please? What else can I get for you? Um, and that's it for today. Thank you. Okay, it's going to be $4.95 at the window. Perfect. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I didn't get a matcha. 
which is not in the mood for a matcha. I wanted like a fun, no one's behind me, so I'm gonna get my Starbucks app. Oh, I do have money. I have money from yesterday. I went to Starbucks yesterday too, you guys. I'm on a Starbucks kick again. It's really bad. She put it in a venti cup, you guys. She put it in a venti cup. We're off to a great start. I got a strawberry lemonade, strawberry sai lemonade refresher. Oh! Woo! Oh my gosh. It's, <laughs> it's really sweet and really sour at the same time. It almost, ta it almost tastes like one of those like really sweet sour uh, pieces of candy. Kind of like a Starburst-ish. Oh my gosh. Mm, if you get this, I would probably ask for them to dilute it somehow. I think this is how they make the pink drink, huh? They put coconut milk in it. Wow, that's sweet. This is the plan today. We're gonna go to Best Buy, and then next to Best Buy, there's like a Kohl's that has a Sephora, because I wanna check out this uh, lip liner that everyone's been talking about. It's um, it's Hailey Bieber's favorite lip liner by Makeup Forever. Um, so I'm going to check that out. And then there's a Home Goods right down there. This is probably like the the most lit plaza I have near me because <laughs> I feel like I do live like not in the middle of nowhere but it's still a very developing area so um, it doesn't have like everything that like Orange County um, has that I'm used to but I love this plaza if you guys like ever want to find me in my area I'm most likely always here but there's a home goods and I might go to that and then there's an Ulta and I kind of want to go to Ulta because I want to get this L'Oreal lip product and then they also have the Chanel lipstick that I saw on TikTok that I want to try out so we might hit up Ulta and then we have to stop by Target at the end to pick up a birthday card so also this drink is just like this drink is so good you guys but man I am dying for like a cup of water so I can dilute this because then I think I would really suck it down but it's so good I can only take little um little sips. It honestly tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It's delicious. I also need to go to Best Buy because I'm looking at a new camera. There's nothing wrong with this one, um, but I think Carlos and I might put this one in the studio or I might actually have Carlos take over this camera and then I might get a new camera and change over to Sony. I'm not too sure yet. Um, as a content creator, you're always like looking for like new technology or new ways to improve your content. And I saw a Sony camera that I really like. So I'm still researching it. It honestly takes me months to research um, about a camera before I pull the trigger because cameras are really expensive you guys um, A lot of you guys actually ask me what camera I use. This is the Fujifilm X-T4 and I'm using the sorry I'm moving you back I'm using the 10 to 24 millimeter and this camera alone is already like almost two thousand dollars And then the lens cost me another two thousand dollars. So overall, I'm literally carrying a four four thousand dollar camera but I will say like that's probably giving you guys a lot like of a heart attack right now. What am I saying? That's probably giving a lot of you a heart attack hearing the price. However, it is my job and two, I mean the quality you guys. The quality of my vlogs and pretty much all of my videos are fucking amazing. And like I never say shit like that. Like I'm never too overconfident about things because I'm just like Kim like fucking humble yourself you little bitch. But like no seriously when it comes to like my vlog quality, I hope you guys agree, like let me know in the comments. But not only that, our videos are all in 4K. Like Carlos and I are really, really, really strict on ourselves where we want our videos to be in 4K because a lot of people are actually watching 4K quality videos nowadays. Um, and this camera is actually really heavy to carry around, but I do it for the quality. Like I want you guys to feel as if you're there with me. And this camera is so good if you guys are looking for a high quality camera. Um, it's just so fucking expensive. That's the only thing. It was, it was an investment, you guys. I, dude. Um, but we've been using this camera for like two years now and it's been amazing. The Sony camera, that's the thing that I want to look at. I think I might rent it. There are some places that will let you rent cameras. If you have a Sammy's camera, you can also rent from them. Um, or you can go online and a lot of online websites will actually let you rent a camera and a lens for a few days. You might pay like 
a hundred bucks. I think it might be like 50 bucks a day to rent or something like that. But hey, it's better than committing in like a $4,000 camera and lens and then end up not liking it. It's a big commitment, you guys. It is too much of a big commitment. I don't want to just buy something. Um, I really want to think about it, but it's good. It's good for the job. It's good for the job. I like high quality videos, and it's good. If you guys are looking for a more affordable camera, I highly suggest the Canon G7X. That one will run you about seven hundred dollars. But if you want to switch out lenses and have um, a little bit of a better quality camera I feel like the Canon M50 is really cool that one you can change out lenses and the the Canon M50 is going for I think seven or eight hundred and then the lenses are between like two hundred and five hundred dollars so it's gonna run you a little bit lower um, maybe a little bit over a thousand dollars not like 4k but I'll link all of those cameras down below for you guys in case you're ever interested but my biggest advice for you is if you're gonna start out vlogging use what you have use your iPhone um, iPhone qualities these days are so freaking good like the cameras on our iPhones are amazing when I started YouTube I didn't spend any money well when I didn't have any fucking money when I started YouTube um, I was fucking a poor college student and I got 20 bucks a, a week for allowance so I didn't have any money at the time didn't have a job either my job was to go to college um, but at the time I didn't have anything so I borrowed my brother's camera he had like an old Nikon yeah why am I Nikon? Why does that sound weird? He had like an old Nikon camera s sitting around that we would use for like family vacations, but he like tucked it away in a closet. So I literally got it, got the tripod, figured out how to film and edit and did everything myself. I'll, I can do a whole video on that if you guys are interested, how to start YouTube and like things I've learned and all the techniques and skills and things like that. But okay, let's get going because I have to make it home to walk the dogs. Um, it's 4.30 right now and we always walk the dogs around like 7 or 7.30 so I got a little bit but I gotta get going. Okay, I'm filming on my iPhone but I wanted to show you, like I said, you can use your iPhone to vlog as well you guys. The quality on the iPhones are so good these days but I'm walking into Best Buy right now. Sometimes I like to film on my iPhone so I don't have to bring my camera around because my camera is pretty big. And I'm not even kidding, I think it weighs like five pounds. <laughs> See, this camera's really good. This is the G7X Mark III. The Mark III is what I had, I believe. See, this one's really good, you guys. I like it because it's compact, it's very small. The quality's also good, and there's not a lot of buttons, because when you're starting out with YouTube um, and vlogging, you're already stressed enough, the fact that you have to share your life on the internet, and you're still getting used to like talking to a camera, and just like, you're really shy still, you know? So you don't have to worry about all like the technical stuff. So there's not a lot of buttons, and it's really easy to like, turn the brightness up and down so i really like this one to start off with youtube um the mark ii is going for 630 i believe and this is going for 750. the only thing is you can't you cannot change out the lens so it's a compact camera so that's the only thing but let me try to find the canon m50 they don't have a lot of options here this best buy is fairly small um, I don't see a lot of options here. This is the only thing that they have. So I think I might have to go down to Orange County and see, cause I went to look for a Sony camera and look, this is all they have for Sony, literally. And the, they don't have the camera I'm looking for. So man, I'm so sad. It's such a small collection. I'm at Kohl's right now. Kohl's has really good um, sportswear. I always get Carlos like, adidas pants here and stuff but my kohl's has a mini sephora right there so i'm gonna go to sephora but i couldn't help but stop here to see if i can get carlos anything i know a lot of people sleep on kohl's but kohl's has really good stuff carlos is really into these like adidas jogger stuff okay i'm here but i don't know if i see it you guys lip liners oh lip liners right here i'm not sure if it's these it's called like caffeine or something but then there's also like lip liners down there okay it's this one right here it's 600 it's called 600 anywhere caffeine but it looks like it's sold out 
because I don't see it, but I'm gonna ask the girls in the back because usually they have some in the back. But these colors are really pretty too. Like 610 Boundless Berry is really pretty. So hopefully they have more in the back. I do feel more comfortable holding my camera at Target because they have a cart and I can just put it in the cart <laughs> when I'm not filming. But if you guys didn't know, I live by a Super Target. Let's check both ways. There's no cars. I live by a Super Target, so we basically get first dibs on all inventory. Okay, Target during the day is amazing because no one's here. Um, I always love their like $5 section. Like they have this for like $5 and it's like a, it's like a little table that you can fold up and put down. Like this is so cute as like outdoor furniture if you have kids or if you're just like me who wants to buy this for no reason. That's so cute. That's so convenient too. That's also really good for the beach, you guys. If you go to the beach with your kids, look, you might as well buy them this for $3, a whole sand set. All the summer stuff is out and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. I feel like we were just here. Did they put new stuff out? This is so cute if you like to decorate your house like farmhouse style. Oh my gosh, they have clear risers. Wait, oh my god, they're stuck. How cute. I actually might need this for my mukbangs to like put food on. Risers are really convenient. I was walking and I saw something that had an eagle on it. How much is this going for? Oh my god, $10? <gasps> XXL, $10. I thought it was a Philadelphia Eagles thing, but oh my god, this crew neck is actually really cute for $10. Okay, we are here for cards. We have to stay focused, but I did get the risers. This is what they look like. Um, it comes in two for $5. They're like cute little acrylic plastic risers. Um, two for $5, so like $2.50 each. So I got one for Michelle as well, in case she wants to put it on her desk or something but I thought they were really cute. I'm gonna use them for like, um, to elevate food. They're great for parties as well. That's usually where I buy a lot of my risers, like my wood ones too. Like for parties, you can put food on them um, when you like lay food out, like cupcakes and stuff. They come in handy. You just never, you never know when you need them. You can also have them by the sink to put your soap dispensers on it. Um, on your desk, you can put a lot of things on your makeup desk as well. It's convenient. I'm gonna go look at cards now. So Father's Day is next month. I do have a dad, <laughs> obviously. That's uh, how I uh, I am here. But I've actually never met my dad before. So Carlos and I actually never got a chance to celebrate Father's Day because Carlos also grew up without his dad and then his dad passed away when he was 11. But yeah, if you guys don't remember, next month is Father's Day on June 19th. I'm here to look for a birthday card though. I think we have like cards like all down this whole section. I'm a really big sucker for cards with dogs on them. I love cards with dogs on them. They make me so happy. Oh my God, how cute is this one? I love golden retrievers. I've always wanted a golden retriever. I think we probably in the future, not anytime soon, but like way in the future, I would love to rescue a golden retriever, you guys. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It looks like Clementine. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh my god, my bangs are growing out so fast. <laughs> it's actually Maiden's birthday next month, which is um, Michelle's little brother. He's technically... I love him so much. I like look at him as my, my little brother as well. But we're having Maiden over. We're throwing him like a little birthday party at our house. Just something very intimate. So I'm looking for a birthday card for him, but I don't see anything here. And it's so hot in Target today. I feel like they're not turning on the AC, you guys. I grabbed a few things. I need a tape. Um, we have backups of the rolls at home, but I just didn't have the actual tape roller thing. So I got tape and then I got a whole pack of these uh, plain um, like flat cards because I usually use these to write like thank you notes and stuff so this was $12 for 50 so I got that um, 
And then I thought these little books were so cute. Things I want you to know when everything feels terrible. And inside you can write like, you can answer a bunch of questions and then gift them to your friends or significant other. They're so cute. I got another one too. Things I love about you. So inside you can like, there's different questions that you can answer and then you can just gift them to your friend or family, whoever. And then I also got this. Burning questions. I love these card games. They're really fun for like mukbang videos or when you're like bored with your friends. You can ask them each other burning questions. This one's really good. They also have a lot more options on Amazon. I'm looking for a gift basket because I'm going to put together a little gift basket for the brand uh, next week when I go to LA. So I'm thinking this one's really cute. That's really cute. I think they have more here. I always like to bring like a little thank you thing um, whenever we do like a photo shoot or something because photo shoots are really exhausting and they take a lot of planning and time to put together so I just appreciate the team so much like the whole company overall for even thinking of me for the project but also taking time out of their day to like you know I know it's their job but at the end of the day it doesn't hurt to like show up with a little present to show how much you appreciate them so this is really cute I think I'm gonna go with this basket. I think this basket is just so cute. I actually got this basket for Veronica when I did her housewarming gift. I did like a gift basket. I just love gift, gift baskets because you can put like a bunch of things in one. Um, so you can do like little things that make you think of the person and I just think it's more meaningful. Um, so I'm gonna do a gift basket for the brand that I'm going to LA with. I think this would be really cute and it has handles, so I can just like walk into the photo shoot like this and not have to worry about anything. But I don't think we're gonna fill up the basket in this video. I think I'll do it before we go to LA. Um, but the photo shoot's gonna be like three or four hours, so I'm thinking like a lot of really good snacks. And I'm gonna do um, a thank you card. I'll put it together in another video. We're in the makeup aisle. This is why I came. Um, someone on TikTok recommended this by L'Oreal, their Glow Paradise Bomb and Gloss in the color Harmony. Rose Harmony. Is this the right one? The list looks kind of brown. Wait, is this the right one? I think so. Rose Harmony. Uh, is the name? Oh, I think I have to like take it. These are really pretty too. Apparently they're very buttery. We'll try them in the car. This color looks not pink. It looked pink online. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm stupid. I cannot believe. I cannot believe I didn't see that. 120 Rose Harmony. I'm actually the dumbest person right now. Oh, it is so hot outside, you guys. It is 6.15, perfect timing. By the time I get home, it should be time to walk the dogs. I got some water because I was so thirsty. Ice cold water. It's so good. And I can pour some of this in my Starbucks drink. I like can't finish it. I'm waiting for it to dilute. Um, but I'm going to head home now. There's really nothing else that I need to do. I got everything that I needed um, at Target. I didn't end up getting a birthday card. I couldn't find anything that I liked for Maiden. So I think I might custom make one on Etsy. I always love buying things on Etsy because one, majority of the... Um, Majority of the businesses that you find on Etsy are small businesses and a lot of these people like they work out of their home like whether they're moms or they're college student like from stickers to notebooks to um, custom party stuff, t-shirts, what else is on Etsy? Literally everything that you would ever think of is on Etsy so I love love buying stuff on Etsy to support small businesses but I think I'm just gonna go on Etsy and find a custom card for him. I cannot wait for his birthday. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully I don't need to stop anywhere else. I'm home. Hello, baby. I know I miss, <gasps> who pooped on the concrete? Oh my God, of all places to poop. I gotta pick that up before someone steps on it. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> I actually love that we moved this seating area out here. Oh my gosh, the breeze is so nice. It's not like super fire hot today, you guys. The other, the last few days, it's been like, I don't even know, almost 100 degrees. But we're just hanging out. We don't mean. I just don't understand why this is necessary. Koopy, Koopy, why? It's dirty, Baba. Hi, Koopy. There's another dog coming. Coming. He's very fascinated. Also, you guys, this waist thing is like the best thing ever. Um, it double connects and then this thing locks it. So this can't even unlock, which I love. And then the pouch, I keep all of like the trash bags inside. We get a thousand trash bags on Amazon for like $15. I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'll link this too. I got it from Amazon, but then your hands can be free. I felt like I could never like vlog us walking the dogs or doing other things because my hands were always occupied. Oh, also they have um, on the leash, they have this in case you need to like have a good grip on your dogs. Come on, Bubba. It's so nice out today. Cooper likes to uh, sniff everything. Oh, well, good thing we have this. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try out these lip products I just got from Target. I saw them on TikTok and I wanted to try them. But now that I'm at, I'm at home, I see that one of them has like glitter, like sparkle reflexes in them. It's the color 90 Rosa Utopia, Rosy Utopia. But I really like this color. I feel like the one that the girl recommended on TikTok it's a little bit too dark for me. I like kind of lip products that have like a rosy tint to them. I don't like them too brown. And I think 120 Rose Harmony, the one that she recommended, you see how it's like more brown than this one? Like this one has a little bit of rose in it. This one is number 50 Feathery Floor, Floral, Floor, Floor. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try the one that she recommended on, actually, let me do that on my hand so we can compare them. So the first one that I'm swatching is 120 Rose Harmony. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're like a tint. Like it's a very nice tint color and it's so buttery. Okay, so it's not actually that dark because it's a nice tint. I would say for most people, it's like your lip color, but better. I actually really enjoy this formulation. I think, oh, hello. Um, I think that it's very smooth. Not too much pigment. It's not like the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. Do you guys remember that back in like 2015? Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with these lip glosses and they were like straight up paint. Um, I don't do well with lip glosses that are super opaque, that have color. I think it gets really messy. But this is a really nice tint for every single day. And this color is actually really pretty. I think I judged it way too early from the packaging. But it's a very nice neutral color. Um, and it does have like a really nice like rosy brown bricky color to it. So it won't make me feel really weird. I, I don't look good in brown lip products. That's why you never see me wear like a nude lip. So that was 120 Rose Harmony. And the next one that I wanna compare it to is number 50 Feathery Floral. Um, same formulation, cause they're from the same line. But this one, yeah, that's what I figured. This one's more up my alley. It has like a rosy color to it. And I like lip products that kind of look like, um, what is that lip liner from MAC Cosmetics that I love? I think it's called Soar. But this one has a little bit of like a pink to it and I like it better. You guys see what I'm talking about? This one's more brown, that one's more pink. Again, very, very nice on the skin. It feels buttery. It's smooth and it's a nice tint. I think it'll be really good to wear alone or you can wear it on top of pretty much any product and it'll give you like another layer of color. This is 90 Rosy Utopia. Um, okay, so let me... 
Ooh, this one's really pretty. Ooh, 90 Rosy Utopia is very pretty. I love the sparkle. It's not too much, but I feel like when you wear this in the sun, it is going to be so pretty this summer. Oh my god, the sparkle is multicolored, so it's so pretty. This one is definitely like in the pink family. I don't know if you guys can see. Do you guys see the sparkle compared to the other ones? They're more flat. They just have like a nice gloss to them. But this one has sparkles in them. And they're so pretty. I actually really like this one. 90 Rosy Utopia. And then I grabbed one more because they just had one more. And I was like, why not? This is 40 Blissful Blush. And this one seems like one that I probably wouldn't wear too often. I would probably wear this over a lip product, to be honest, but not alone, because I think it might wash me out. But it is actually the most beautiful pinky nude color. So if you look really careful, carefully, you see a little bit of a difference, but not too much. But you see how this is probably the most pink out of all of them. Okay, I'm so excited. I don't know which one I want to try first. I'm going to do the 120, the 120 Rose Harmony. Um, hopefully this one is... Wait, it kind of looks like my lip color. I like that. Like, my mindset with these is like, this is like something I would wear every single day. Um, when I wear light makeup. Actually, I would wear them when I wear heavy makeup as well. I feel like they'd be really pretty whenever I want like a nice lip. Uh, let's talk about the applicator. I don't love the applicator too much just because it doesn't apply in a comfortable way. Uh, but it does, it, it's in like this eight shape. Let me show you guys. It's in this eight shape right here. Oh my gosh, camera, come on. It's in this eight shape, so it does grab onto product really nicely. So um, basically the inserts of the eight, like the circles, will grab onto the product. So you will have a lot of extra product. Um, but I just, I personally don't like it. I just think it's like uncomfortable to like apply. There are definitely other applicators out there that I think are way more comfortable. But this is, um, this is 120 Rose Harmony. It's actually not bad. Wow, it actually looks really different on my lips. I like that. I actually really like that. Let's see. The next thing that we will try, so that's the one we already tried. Let's do, um... Let's do 50 Feathery Fleur. This one is the... This one's very similar. Excuse my dogs. This one's very similar to the first one, but it's got more pink, and I actually like this more. I know that you guys probably can't tell. You can't tell on camera, but it's got a little bit more pink to it. And these are tints, you guys, so... Oh, they're very moisturizing. Oh my god, it's like butter. I actually really like this color. I would probably wear this over the first one. This one's got definitely more pink to it. Not even pink, but like a brick. You get, you can even tell. Like, look at this. A little bit darker and more brown. Okay. We're doing like this really, really fast. And then 90, this was probably one of my favorites, 90 Rosy Utopia. This one's the one with the sparkle. I'm not a fan of the applicator. Hmm. This one's not bad. Oh my god, they're so smooth and buttery. I feel like I can put them on all day long. Okay, let me get some... These, this one's really pretty. i probably say that this one's my favorite. I really like this one. Ooh. I would wear this one. This one's at number one. 90 Rosy Utopia. I like that one the most. Okay, the last one I probably 
wouldn't grab too much. This one is 40 Blissful uh, Blush. Yeah, it washes me out. But I think this would be really pretty with the lip liner, but it, yeah, it's not my favorite. Oh my God, my lips hurt. It's so cold in this house. I got dinner. <laughs> remember the name I think it's called bush fire but they make really good bowls I usually like to make bowls at home because they're so easy you guys um, I'm actually gonna make a bowl tomorrow so I'll show you guys in tomorrow's vlog how to make a bowl at home but you just make some rice and then choose your protein and your favorite veggies and it's so so good so we'll make that tomorrow but today I just wanted to order in but this is my bowl I got the tri-tip bowl so I got tri-tip and then brown rice at the bottom and curry cauliflower and then I got Carlos the mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and I got Brussels sprouts and then also sweet potatoes and I love bowls they're just so fun to eat so let me mm. this is my last shot yeah, you took one already. You said two. You said two max. Okay. Oh, oh man, the first one was so good. The first one was good. The first one like tickled it. <laughs> tickled. You were short and then you were long on that one. Okay. Uh, the Celtics lost. It's okay though. They play again on Thursday. Are we playing for freebies? Yeah, obviously. Okay. I think two more and we're done. Okay. Oh my gosh! That was too long, babe. I know. I think I need to back up. Wait, I get another one. Yeah, that's why I'm giving it oh. to you. I, I, I think I need to like do it from here. Okay. Oh, this is going in. Last shot. This is going in. Oh. Alright, these are my two last shots too. Alrighty. Alright, you guys. Okay, babe. Okay. Oh, what the heck? What was that? It went sideways. Man, that was a waste. That was pretty bad. That was horrible. Oh, oh, oh is it? Yeah. <laughs> I need to clean this area because it looks like a mess. But I brought these in. These books are so cute, the ones that I got from Target. I think I'm going to fill them out. Tenth, or no, things I love about you and things I want you to know when everything feels terrible. I think these are such cute gifts. They were $10 each. Not a bad price. And then... This room honestly gets messy so quick because we film in here. I need a tr That's what I needed at Target, a freaking trash can. We have lip products. Do, are you guys interested in like a makeup collection tour? Do people still watch those? I need a trash can in this place. These I'm gonna set up tomorrow. Um, sometimes I like blank cards. Oh my god, my hair. 
I remember you guys, I chopped my bangs the other week. I'm trying to grow them out because I, I like do not like my bangs. But I like blank cards better than actual cards because actually I like a little bit of both because sometimes you find like a really good card um, that is meaningful or funny and it makes you think of the person. But a lot of the times if I can't find anything, I always buy like a huge stack of these. You can also get them on Etsy and have them customize like your name on it, which I think is really cool. But I couldn't find any cards when I was at Target and it's Father's Day coming up. So like they had like two aisles of Father's Day cards, which um, I actually have gotten asked so many times on my vlog channel. How come um, you guys like never see my dad? So my dad lives in Australia. My mom and my dad met when they were both at a refugee camp in Indonesia. That's where I was born in a refugee, a refugee camp in, um, it's a, uh, I forgot what it was called. It's on my birth certificate. My birth certificate literally says, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> My birth certificate, my birth certificate literally says that I was born in a refugee camp. Like I literally saw it and I, I had no idea until I looked at my birth certificate a few years ago. But that's where my mom and my dad left. Um, I mean, met my mom was there because uh, that's what you did back then to you like would leave your country to go and go and try to um, move to like another country and obviously a lot of people want to go to the US or they want to go to Australia um, so when we were there my mom unexpectedly had me I was a surprise baby because she was already like 38 or maybe 39 she was really close to 40 I don't remember what age she was it was like 38 or 39 she had already had my two sisters and my brother and my brother is uh, 12 years older than me um, so she already had my brother in 1981 and that was it she was like done so she went to the refugee camp and met my dad and unexpectedly had another baby and she had me. <laughs> um, but while they were there, I was I was only a few months old, I believe. I would I really have to double check this story with my mom, just like all the details. Like I know the story, but I just don't know the little details. So I don't know how old I was, but my dad was able to move to Australia, so he left us um, in the refugee camp. And when he went to Australia I think he like remarried quickly um, we found out that like he had another family in Vietnam um, I actually met my half siblings so I have a lot of half siblings because he had a family in Vietnam already and had like I don't even know five or six kids so I think the last time I went to Vietnam my mom took me to my half siblings house and I got to meet them and they look just like me which is insane we all look like our dad and my dad went to Australia and my mom wasn't able to immigrate to Australia with him. It wasn't a choice. Uh, that was pretty much impossible because immigration is really strict. And so then my mom went back to Vietnam with me and that's when I met my siblings. Um, and then I believe a year or two later, we got permission to legally move to the U.S., in nine, 1996 I believe and so I've been in America since 1996 so I've been here since I was three years old but I don't have any memory of my dad never met him obviously I was uh, only a few months old but the crazy thing about the story is in 2016 I believe I'll try to find the email because I still have the email on my phone um, in 2016 or 2015, I don't remember what year it was, my dad actually found me on YouTube, which was so weird. I got an email from, I'm not sure if she's like a cousin of mine, but she emailed me saying like, oh, your dad is looking for you. And I thought it was like a prank. I thought maybe like, uh, I don't know, like one of my haters like was fucking with me. 
And so I opened up the email, there was a phone number and I emailed them back and um, it's just so weird that he saw my videos on YouTube and that's how he found me and he, I don't think is like tech savvy so he had like a relative email me and reach out and um, it's just kind of crazy because for a while, I thought that I was doing something wrong by like not having any interest in talking to my dad. I know my sisters, well, one of my sisters gave me like a really hard time because she had, she like her whole life had always wanted to like meet her dad. And since I had this opportunity right in front of me, I didn't want to take it. And I just always felt like I was making the wrong decision, like there was a right and wrong way. But now that I'm older um, and I have a husband and he's one day going to have a dad and I just feel like I've gone through more things in life and I've grown up, I still feel the same way that I do. The only thing that's different is that I'm at a place where I'm really content with my choice of not having any interest in meeting my dad, even if I have the opportunity to. And the reason for that is because I just... I dad to me is such a like it doesn't really exist in my world um because I don't know what it's like to have a dad like I I remember in like middle school Air Apostle had like daddy's little girl shirts with like a monkey on it or something like that and I just like I don't know what it's like to have a dad like I don't know that feeling of like a daddy daughter dance when I watch wedding videos I don't know like I just don't, it, it, it's kind of like growing up, just not knowing a totally different culture. It, it's so weird for me to explain and I never want to come off that I'm like a brat or that I'm like doing a horrible thing by not having interest in meeting my dad. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's such a foreign topic to me that I don't feel anything because I don't, I don't know what it's like to have a dad figure and I've never met this human being that has this label of being my dad. And another thing is like, I think being a dad is more than because you, you help make this human being. Like growing up, my dad figure was my brother. Like he was my dad. He, he helped raise me along with my mom and my sisters like for a lot of for a lot of people their stepdad is more of a dad to them than their actual dad and for me my mom played both the dad and mom role growing up like she is both my mom and dad in one I feel like someone can be a dad and be called a dad but I feel like it takes a man to be really present in your life and have your best interests at heart to be to deserve that title i don't know how to explain it but i never really had interest in meeting my dad um even though there were like moments in my life where like it was kind of sad growing up because i always wondered like all of my parents had a mom and a dad and i was the one with a single mother and it wasn't until i was in my 20s when I realized how kick-ass my mom is and how amazing she is for raising four kids on her own and never needing a man in her life. Um, but personally for me, like, I think it's just a personal choice. Like, I hope that not a lot of you guys will be like, well, I think you should still meet your dad. Like, it's such a personal choice for me. And like I said, I mean, my, my one sister really wanted to meet her dad so she was extremely upset with me for not wanting to meet mine but I just don't think that's fair because this is a personal decision and and I just it's not that I like don't care for another human being like obviously you guys know like I'm really caring but to me he's like a stranger and I and I just don't feel anything and I can't explain it any other way. Um, but I also think it's such a personal decision of mine that no one can tell me what's right and what's wrong. And who knows, maybe one day when I have kids of my own or something, something will spark inside of me that I will want to meet my dad or maybe have interest in just meeting a complete stranger. But like I said, 
he didn't help raise me. He wasn't there for any of my life other than the first month. Um, and I just don't really, I can't feel much for someone I don't know. So that's the story on how my dad found me on YouTube. I think the internet is such a crazy thing. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't know. I think I've shared it like maybe once in a Q&A, but I've never gone into detail about why you guys really don't see me talk about my dad or anything. Because um, to me, I like DNA wise, like biologically, I have a dad, but I don't really have a dad. And like for Carlos too, he grew up without his dad. Um, and then when he was 11, his dad unfortunately passed away and he never got a chance to meet his dad. But as sad as, as sad as it sounds, it's like we, we grew up without our dads. So like our dads are like strangers to us. You can only feel and do so much mentally. But like I said, you never know, maybe in the future. And for some people, some people really change their minds and some people just stay the same. And I don't know, but I'm just really grateful that like our kids will grow up with mom and dad, like a mom and a dad. Um, I don't know. And don't have to go through like all of those thoughts that I went through when I was in like elementary and middle school and, you know, feeling left out because I didn't have a dad and having to explain to people and yada, yada, yada.